hello buddy and welcome to my channel i'm assassin ghost and today we are going to see how you can create accents in photoshop cc 2018 so let's get started first of all start photoshop and let me open this image now before we begin let's first discuss what are the importance of creating a photoshop accents so basically photoshop accents are set of your previous edits or customization which you made to one image or which you made to one type of image and you want to import the same edits same customizations and everything you did on the first image to all the images you want so first of all before we begin go to the windows and enable the accents window so this is basically this triangle shaped accent and you can just click you can also click l plus f9 to pop it out now let's go ahead and using this image as an example create a new accent from scratch so first of all open the action window now go here and create a new folder name it let's say tutorial press ok and now under the tutorial folder we are going to create a new accent which let's just call brightness b-r-i-g-s-t-n-e-s-s -E -S, of course and let's just go ahead and record it once we hit the record button we need to do all the edits we have to do so for example i named it brightness so i'm just gonna go to image and i'm just going to go to adjustments and now i'll go to brightness and contrast and let's just say i'm gonna increase the brightness to something like 20 and press ok now i'll just go ahead and stop this so basically we have created the first ever action which will do the brightness which will adjust the brightness automatically to all the images we want to do in the future so let's just go ahead and create some more actions under the tutorial folder i'm just going to create a new action and i'll name it let's just call it black and white and we're just going to hit the record button and now I'll go to the image and I'll go to mod and maybe I should just do the grayscale. Yes, not a problem. So as you can see, we have created this black and white image from our colored image and now I'm just going to stop it. Okay, so now the question arises, what if I have a a different image and I want to use the same action so you can just go ahead to the windows and you can enable the accents and let's just say I wanna convert this colorful image into a black and white image so I'm just going to my black and white action and I'm just going to play it it will automatically convert it into black and white so this was actually a a really simple explanation of how you can create actions of course you can go ahead and create some complex actions but this was basically a look at how you can create some actions now if you want others to use your action so you have to go to you have to select the action and you can save the actions so let's just go ahead and save it to our same folder or uh, okay so now you can see we have this tutorial action and we selected the tutorial action we clicked on this three bars and we clicked on this save actions and photoshop actions by default will have dot atn extensions so you can go ahead and just click on save and it will save on the desired location now let's just say i'm someone who don't have these actions 
and I want to create a black and white image. Excuse me, I'll just go ahead and open it. Let's just say this image and what I will do is I will go to the action windows. I will click on these three bars and I will say load actions. Now I'll select my action file which is a tutorial.atn which we just created. I will click on it and I will select load. It will load my tutorial action and now I can just go ahead and adjust the brightness. I can go ahead and adjust, uh, make some adjustment and create it a black and white image. So using this way, you can create complex edit, uh, edits and for example, let's just say a certain workflow requires you to adjust the brightness. So just for an example, you took 30 or 40 shots from the same party or in the same lighting situations and you want to adjust the brightness, adjust the contrast and along with the let's just say levels, curves, exposure and other stuff. So you can just go ahead and create an action and you can import the action and use the same action on all of your images. So let me go ahead and create a multi-layered action. So I'm just going to create a new action and I will name it multiple. And let's go ahead and hit record. So I'm taking this background layer and I'm just going to adjust the levels. So let's just say maybe uh, let's just do anything because just for the sake of this tutorial we are just going to do anything randomly okay that's too much and now again let's say we are going to increase the brightness to somewhat yep maybe and the contrast nice and now let's go ahead and do some hue and saturation we will increase the reds and maybe do it something like this of course don't worry it's just a, a tutorial for the sake of the tutorial and we are just going to do something like uh, let's just say exposure we are just going to adjust the exposure okay that's too much and i'm just going to bring it down now we can go ahead and just save it and let's just say you have a, a new image and uh, which one is it let's just say this one and you want to adjust you want to add all the adjustment you made to your previous image on this image so you can just go ahead and create on this multiple and you are just going to play it and this will do everything we just did we created, uh, we adjusted the levels, we adjusted the curves, we adjusted the brightness and contrast along with hue, saturation and exposure. So using this action, which is the multiple action, we just ruined this image actually. But anyhow, for the sake of this tutorial, this was how we create actions. So if you like this video, please make sure to leave a like and also subscribe to my channel. We are so close to 1k subscriber and also if you have some problems or you need my help on some tricks or tips for the photoshop then you can comment down below i will create a new tutorial about it and if you want to check my other videos we have a adobe playlist which contain adobe photoshop and adobe muse tutorials so Thanks for watching. Take care. Goodbye.